Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing how I actually helped to clear up my skin when it was really inflamed. Now it's nothing like some other people have where they have acne just all over their face, neck, body. For me, I'm very blessed. I didn't, haven't had issues with acne. Thankfully, I'm very grateful. Knock on wood that it doesn't happen in future. But for a while since moving, I was just eating out a lot. I was eating takeaway foods, lots of oily, oily processed fatty foods, sugar laden, salty foods like that. And it was flaring up my skin and I found that it was just getting worse and worse and worse. So what I wanted to do was test out the oil cleansing method because I've been using that as my normal oil cleansing routine for many years now. But I sort of had gotten out of the routine of doing it since moving, oops, <laughs> of doing that. Everyone is, every man and the dog is just being noisy. Please stop, I'm filming a video. <laughs> Everyone just stop for me. So I found that my skin was just flaring up. I thought if I get back into the routine of doing it every day consistently, I did it one, I did it twice per day for the first few weeks, but then I found I only need to do it once per day after that. So I'd cleanse it after my shower each evening and I found it was so much better. So what the oil cleansing routine is, is basically you, you're using oil to cleanse your skin. So rather than stripping your face, stripping your skin of oil, you're actually using oil to cleanse it and it doesn't strip away all the natural oils meaning that your skin doesn't need to keep producing 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 it's supposed to help rebalance your skin's i'm gonna put this on mute <laughs> it helps to balance your skin's natural oil production sebum production as it's technically called and it helps to keep it and stop it from going into really like that oily state or really dry skin but most of us who have oily skin will know that if you keep stripping the skin of its oils it just produces more and more and more and it gets into a vicious cycle and this helps stop that, it helps to rebalance it so your skin's not as much, like it's oily anymore and I found that to be the case, it's so true. So I'll link in the description below my full blog, blog post on exactly how to do the oil cleansing method, how to cater it to your skin type, whether you have dry skin, combination skin, oily skin and how to make it because it's a few different oils that you use. But to give a quick summary of what I did, so I combined hazelnut oil or castor oil, you can use one or the other. With olive oil, I mix that together with this. I think I did 50 50 of it. So I did half of olive oil, half castor slash hazelnut, one of the two. Can't remember exactly which one I used at the start, but then I sort of switched to castor oil once I ran out of the hazelnut. And I applied that onto my skin, so I'd make sure I kind of wash my face first just with a bit of water, pat it dry. And then once it was all fine, like clear, I'd add the oil on and I'd just gently rub it through and rub it really well. So rub it into my pores, down my neck, even onto my chest because I had pimples on my chest as well. And I just left that on for 10 minutes. You don't have to leave it for 10 minutes, but I wanted to do a deep cleanse of it. You can leave it from about, I think, 5 to 10 minutes. You leave it on your skin. And then once the 10 minutes are up, you get a really warm cloth. So you, you get a damp face cloth. You wet it in hot water. And then you put that on your face and the steam of that helps to draw out the impurities in your skin. So you create like a steam layer over your skin and it helps to draw out the impurities. And then once you've left it on for a minute, you just get the corner of the cloth and dab away any excess oil. And for me, I didn't need to follow up with any moisturizer or anything like that because I still had a little tiny bit of residue of the oil on my skin that was the moisturizer for me. But if you have really dry skin, you may follow up with a facial moisturizer afterwards. And that was the routine that I did. And I did this over, I think, two months. So, because it's a natural method, it's not as quick as taking, you know, medication or things like that to help clear up your skin like that. So for me, it's a bit of a slower process, but I found it really, really worked in clearing up my skin. As you can see, it completely healed it. I was amazed, oh, so happy. I also should note that I have started eating cleaner. During this time, I did a green juice cleanse, like a juice cleanse. And that also helped kickstart my my body into loving healthy foods again because I'd kind of changed my palate to all the greasy takeaway foods. And it just helped to reset my body, reset my taste palate to like healthy foods again. And since then, I've been really good at keeping on top of eating healthy. And that in itself has really helped my skin as well. So if I can give you any advice for clearing up skin, it, the skin is the window to the inside of your body. It's so basically... The skin is the first sign to show inflammation in the gut. So 
like a window to the soul, <laughs> a window to the gut. So if you do notice that your skin is inflamed, most of the time it's because your gut is inflamed, has a lot of um, things going on, and it's trying to expel these toxins that it can't get out through the digestive system. So by changing up your diet to one that's mainly whole foods, fruits, vegetables, and things like that, very clean, no processed foods, you'll notice a huge improvement in your skin. So yeah, that is pretty much my story <laughs> of how I cleared up my skin using the oil cleansing method. I swear by it. It's my go-to routine. I don't need to use any expensive creams or anything like that. You can make it yourself at home. It's so easy. You can even buy, if you don't want to make it, you can buy little pre-made oil cleansing kits. Where people have made them. I think they have them on Etsy and places like that. So you can find it there. Otherwise, it's so easy to make and probably saves you a lot more money in the long run if you just buy the oils and make it yourself. Just put it in a little tincture bottle and pop a few drops on your hand, rub that together. And you just want to make sure that you've saturated your face in the oil so it's nice and covered. And then you just let it sit, or like put a cloth over to create a steam layer and then wash it off afterwards. And it does miracles. I swear by it. It's honestly so incredibly effective, really good and so cheap to make. And very good for your skin because you're not stripping it of its oils which is what causes all these issues in the first place so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video do let me know if you try out the oil clean oil cleansing method or if you have done it or do it yourself i'd love to hear i'd love to hear what you do for your skin care routine or if you have tips and things on things that i could add to my skincare routine please share i'd love to know otherwise thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed today's video if you like it just give it a thumbs up and if you want to join our tribe on youtube you know just to subscribe down below in the corner and make sure to hit that bell button so you keep up to date with future videos otherwise thank you again for watching and i hope to see you again soon in my next video bye